hello guys today we're going to be looking at this render right here using some displacement we'll make this cool abstract white blob so let's start by making a new general so now that we have a new file let's start adding a an icosphere then we need more geometry so let's turn up to four now, now that we have this much geometry, we will come here and add a displacement modifier to our icons here and choose clouds. So we have this crazy looking thing. I will put the size smaller so we have more smooth. smooth. And now we can bring this down so it doesn't collapse in the middle like this. And if it's too big, you can just scale it up. And press Ctrl C. So now we have to do is duplicate this icon here, and we will use geometry nodes now. So first, we come here and add a geometry nodes modifier, and we we need to come to the geometry nodes workspace. Now let's create a new and first we need a transform modifier, transform node so we can make it bigger. If you want to change this what a value and so this view and make it bigger so we can see. So it just comes a little bit bigger than the other one. I think that's good. We can change this up. Now we have to do what we have to do is choose triangulate. Triangulate. Now if we put here, everything will become triangle. And now we need to put a dual mesh so we get this cool effect. Now if we come back to we press Alt T, you can see that it has this weird shape and if you want more resolution you can add a subdivision subdivide mesh in the first and you can always change it after i'll leave mine at one and now we what we need to do is transform this to a curve so we have this lines so we first we have to do is put a mesh to curve to mesh to curve and then curve to mesh curve to mesh and we need to add a circle curve to curve circle they changed the name I don't know what and so what you, you have to do now is put a joint geometry right there Here. let's bring this far so we have more space work now we will just put this over here, this one over here, this over here. And now you can see it created this curves. And now if we add a curve circle, it will, if you we bring the radius down, you see now we have lines. That's good. And now we want to break those faces like I did in the other one. So we need to separate geometry. And we need to choose face. And then a random value. Now we just plug the... No, we first change to boolean and put on selection now as you can see created some faces where there isn't anything but we want more of them less of less faces so we just bring this down until we have just some left i think that's good too and now for the materials first i will come to wait first i will come to here and add just a, a set material node and we will quickly just add a new material and call it gold for now. 
and now we will choose gold and get the like the first icon sphere the one in the middle and create a new material we will choose a mission but we will make that better after so if we come to the shading tab now we can make the materials better first we will choose the gold one the gold material and just bring it to a yellow kind of orange and now we'll bring, bring the roughness a lot down but not at all and the metallic all the way up now we have a simple gold shader and for the emission we'll just come to the, the render view and really fast I adjust some lights now if we see we have a lot of power on the lights so we can duplicate it and rotate it so we have more light on the scenes and now we can choose the bottom one and come to shading so we have to put a mix shader duplicate the emission put it right here and put the color to a darker color and now the factor we have to put in and now we'll put a frontal and connect it into the factor now to have more control of this let's get a color ramp and put it right here now if we bring this closer the other color closer you can see that the sides are becoming darker if you want more dark if you want darker you can just bring it closer until you're happy with the vibe now that is good and i think we're ready for the final part first we add a cam camera and go to a view that you like i'll just go to the front view for now and press ctrl alt number pad zero and bring the camera far out and now you can remove this so we can just see the object and we can parent one of the icosphere to another so i'll parent the I I outside icosphere to the inside of icosphere so just press ctrl p and object now if we rotate one of them it will rotate the two you can press r twice so you can rotate more freely and just get a view that you like now that you're happy with the view you can come to if you want more resolution you can just choose 4k right here and but i will keep it at the default and we can keep at png and that's it if you want you can add an hdri I, and i have a tutorial on that already so you can come and see or appear on the right side but that's it thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video